I'm outside on the fresh red earth. It just rained. It's so gorgeous. I'm inspired to answer two questions that were presented to me. Thank you so much for all your feedback, all your questions after last week's video. They really, really, really inspired me and it's taken me a few days to kind of sit with them. And I have to be real with you, I don't totally know the answers to all <laughs> of these genius questions that were uh, provided, but I have a place to begin and I think that's a great place to start. I am going to talk about my online club membership, which we meet weekly, and it's been so amazing. You have a community, you have uh, meditations, you have assignments, you have the ability to connect with me, and, and also amazing other lightworkers. It's just been so fulfilling for me, and so I want to offer that to you because it's $39 a month, and it's a great deal. That's maybe what you spend in a couple weeks at Starbucks, just guessing. Anyway, Starbucks is fine too. <laughs> Okay, so the two questions that were presented, one is how do we unhook from cycles of drama? Because what my guides have said very clearly to me is that we are no longer going to be as interested in drama. Ooh, right? That's nice. And so how do, in the process of becoming aware of that, how do we unhook from it? Now, there's just two steps that have really helped me in my life and as I've guided others, and that is number one, just being aware. I think right now is just as we're aware and just as we see it, and just as we're like, wow, I'm doing that thing again. There it is again, there's my little loop-de-loop, -loop. there it goes. And just as we see it, it so deactivates it. Second step, which I did today, which is so, so powerful, is I called a good friend who I just laugh with a lot. And if I know you have those people in your life, but these are fantastic people to share your drama with and just be like, okay, I'm in a drama cycle. I'm aware. I want, I want to up-level it. Can we just laugh about this a little bit? Because I was laughing today and it was so great just to like laugh and get it out and just kind of up-level it. So those are two things that I've noticed, but I would love your thoughts because I honestly don't always understand my downloads. Like I... I hear these things and then I work with people and I'm like, oh, that's what they meant, or do a video about it to figure it out. But I would really love to hear how it is that you deactivate your drama, how it is that you recognize it, what does you do with it? I would love to know. The second question that presented is that in one of my, one of my last videos, I said that the light is winning. And they were like, what does that mean? Now, if you want to get real 3D and practical, I don't actually know entirely what that means. All I can tell you is that I'm I'm really, really hooked up into the feeling of the overall consciousness of where we are in each moment, as is everybody, if you want to tap in. It's just been my greatest passion. I'm a bit of a nerd, so I spend a lot of time there. And so <laughs> when I feel into the overall state of where we're at, we're at in planet Earth, it just keeps feeling lighter and lighter and lighter to me. We're in the process of ascension. We are lightning. We're literally lightning. We're, we're receiving more light. We're taking more light in. And so the reason why I wanted to talk about it in the video and I wanted to bring it up again because someone asked it was a great question is that I think that honestly I just got a download and that's what I'm sharing with you. And yet at the same time I know the power of focus and that as we bring our attention to the light winning then we see more and more and more of it. I've been doing that a lot. I have a, a journal and I track all my abundance uh, manifestations and as I've been doing that, it is amazing how the powerful pull of magnetizing what you desire increases. So it's the same with the light, that the more that you look for it, the more that you call for it, the more that you see it, the more that you believe and know that it's winning, you see the manifestations of that win. How do you see the light is winning? I'm curious. I'm really curious because uh, the more stories we share, the more that we open up, and this is what's happening a lot of my club membership, which is just great. People are just sharing and opening up and it's so inspiring. I think of these stories all week long and it just helps us keep going because stories are truly the way that we integrate information. So please, below, share some stories if you're inspired. How is the light winning? Okay, they want me to give an example of a story. <laughs> so I'm gonna give a story and then I'll close. So, I was brought up on the East Coast in a very uh, prudent, let's say, thrifty, um, what do we call it? High budget, low spending <laughs> culture, okay? So you're always looking to save money, looking to save money, looking to save money. 
And I've been working on, on changing that and just kind of being in more of an abundant state and just knowing that, you know, yeah, I'll get a good deal when I can get it. It's great. It's wonderful. But I'm not, like, driven and because uh, that's the way that I saw, right? It's like you go for the coupons. You go, you know, any way you can save, right? That's just kind of the way I was brought up. So what I've been doing is living in more of abundance consciousness and just being like, you know, all my needs are met. What I need to spend will be there and it's going to work out. So... And it works. Okay, so here's a little story about where the light is winning in my life. So I'm on the phone with my vet, and I've been talking to them for like months, and they've been looking to try to get me this discount medication for my dog, and she does eye drops and whatever. It's just more than I want to spend. And, but it started to kind of go down this road of like me doing this old thing of like, you know, penny pinching. And I saw myself in the middle of it, and I just was like, no, 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 the light's gonna win here, I'm gonna jump. And I'm on the phone with them, I was like, you know what? Don't worry about it. Like. Whatever it costs, let's just order it. Like, I just, I don't want to like, let's just do this, you know? It's going to be fine. Because I remember thinking, say to universe, it's okay. Like, you've got it. And so I was like, I've got it. Anyway, the hysterical part is, the woman calls me back and she's like, well, actually, you know, we do all of our medications now through an online website. And I was like, oh, okay, great, fine, whatever. So I go to the website <laughs> and I order this medication, right? So after all this, her trying to like go to all these different pharmacies and find it all out and she can't find it. They do it through their own now. I've been waiting months for this. And so I, I go online. I'm in this abundant space. I'm like, it's fine. Whatever it costs, we're good. It's all good. And there it is, the medication for literally half of what they were going to charge me. And it was like such an affirmation for me of the light is winning in my own life because it was just like, see, you jump. You jump and universe has you. You continue to claim that the light is winning, that we're all good, that everything's going to work out no matter what is presented, right? No matter what. Got an email last night about 5G and everyone freaking out about 5G. Yeah, it's it's terrifying. Okay, it's just let's just be straight up. It is, but like my guides keep saying, we're gonna figure it out. There's gonna be a solution. It's gonna bring something better. The light is winning. The light is winning. Leave stories. Tell me how the light is winning. Tell me how you want hope from drama, and I'm so excited to connect with you soon.